On Saturday, Bama 10 was featured live right here on Fight Network and emanated from Wembley Arena in London, England. In the night's main event, the promotion's lightweight title was on the line when champion Rob Sinclair battled Ultimate Fighter alum Andre Winner. The first round featured an abundance of clinch work, with the champion scoring with punches and takedowns. Both fighters were tentative in the striking department, but the BJJ Blue Belt winner tried to taunt C4 into engaging in a slugfest, but to no avail. As the fight progressed, Sinclair began to feel comfortable with his stand-up and began to put his punches and knees together, which scored effectively. The challenger did manage to stagger the champion at the end of the final round, but was unable to secure the finish, and the decision would be left in the hands of the judges. Your winner by split decision, and still, Bama World Lightweight Champion, Rob C4 The co-main event of the evening was supposed to be for the company's 185-pound belt, but 22-year-old champion Jack Marshman failed to make weight and was stripped of the title. His opponent, submission specialist Andrew Punchin, would do his best to make the youngster pay, and he wasted little time getting the fight to the canvas before scoring with effective ground and pound. Marshman proved to be more than a one-trick pony and looked for submissions from the guard, attacking with consistency. The two battled back and forth until the referee stepped in after Marshman locked in an arm triangle choke that forced Punch into tap. Do something here. The referee is taking a good look. And he's, he's tapping out. Punch in this tap. I do not believe what I have just seen. The first bout on the main card featured 39-year-old Deniston Sutherland of Jamaica taking on England's own Leroy Barnes. After a few brief exchanges on the feet, Barnes seemed intent on taking the fight to the mat. However, he was unable to sustain any kind of real momentum, getting outworked by his opponent in virtually every aspect of the contest. Sutherland turned up the heat and dished out punishment in all positions, eventually bloodying the face of Barnes, who was on the run throughout the final round before dropping the unanimous decision.